Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So previous videos I have completed the theory of network analysis and 18 problems we have done on network analysis. Actually network is a graphical presentation of a project's activities. A project composed of a bundle of activities. So the project manager has to arrange those activities in some relationship which is the predecessor activity, which is the successor activity and what is the duration of completing each activity and what is the total project duration. All these things will be planned before the project is started. So we have seen how the network diagram will be prepared and how to find out the critical path how to find out the duration of the project all these things we have already studied so if you want if you want to get a perfect knowledge on this network analysis go to the playlist of my channel select the subject operation research select the uh, i mean videos of network analysis be perfect about the concept and 18 problems have solved now in this video another concept of network analysis that is crashing this i'm going to explain so what is crashing crashing is the act of reducing the duration by applying additional resources so if the project manager wants to reduce the total duration of the project then he has to apply additional resources then we have to find out the trade-off between cost and time because time is reduced cost is increased so the project manager has to find out whether it is be beneficial to the management or not to crash the activity. That concept is called crashing or time cost trade off in networking. Right? So before explaining further about this crashing, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, the concept is crashing or time cost trade-off. Network determines the sequence of activities. Actually, what do you mean by network? It's a graphical presentation of all activities showing the critical path. What is the total duration of the project? There should not be any delay in the performance of the critical activities. If critical activities are delayed, the total duration of the project will get delayed. So that will be known by preparing the network diagram. What are the resources required to complete the project? Now, but every organization wants to reduce the target time so that the time saved can be applied for doing other jobs. So management wants to reduce the total duration of the project. For example, project requires 30 weeks then management try to find out is there any way to reduce the uh, time duration from 30 week to 25 week so that five weeks saved can be employed for other jobs that is the question mark of the management furthermore every enterprise wants to accomplish the desired objective at the minimum cost the management wants to reduce or control the cost that means the project should be completed within the budgeted cost, lower cost. Then sometimes it may be desirable to extend the project duration if there is considerable saving in cost. It is not necessary that always the duration should be shortened. Sometimes it may happen that duration should be delayed, should be lengthened to save the cost. So anyway, the management wants to find out is there any way to reduce the project duration or increase. This time cost trade relationship is significant importance project management. Any project management, this concept is very important regarding the relationship between time and cost. If time is reduced, if the project management want to reduce the time, he has to employ additional resources and that will increase cost. So we can say there is inverse relationship between time and cost. 
If we want to reduce the time, the cost will increase. If time is increased, the cost will get reduced. So inverse relationship. Now the duration of the project can be shortened by systematic analysis of critical path activities. See here. In the previous videos, I've explained you critical path is the longest path from first event to the last event where EST, LFT values are same. The activities lying on the critical path are critical activities. There should not be any delay. If there is delay in the critical activities, the total duration will get delayed. So management must concentrate, focus on critical activities. Now crashing cost and corresponding cost and corresponding effect of indirect cost. Now in order to shorten the total duration of the project, the management, the project manager has to crash the duration of critical activities. That means reduce the duration of critical activities. There should not be delay, but we can reduce the time by applying additional resources. Then what will happen? The cost will increase. Which cost? Direct cost will increase. But indirect cost will reduce. Two types of cost are there in any project, direct and indirect. When additional resources are employed, direct cost will increase, but indirect cost will decrease. What is the net effect? of this direct and indirect cost that the management has to see. First, for this time cost relationship should be critically examined. Here, the question whether the uh, activity should be shortened or not, that decision can be taken only by analyzing time cost trade-off relationship. The relationship can be studied with the help of the following cost and time values. Whenever we have to take the decision whether crashing should be done or not. For that purpose, four terms we have to remember. The four terms are first normal time. The time associated with normal resources of the organization to perform the activity. What are the normal resources? What are the normal resources required to complete the project? That is called normal time. Time required with normal resources to complete the activity that is called normal time normal cost the expenditure incurred on normal resources for completing any activity in normal time is known as normal cost it is the expenditure or normal resources required to complete the activity to complete the activity in normal time how much normal cost in normal time? Then crash cost. It is the reduced cost by applying additional resources. That means if an activity can be performed normally in suppose five weeks. Now by applying additional resources, we can complete the activity in three weeks also. Then five weeks is the normal time. Three weeks is the crash time. Two weeks we have reduced by applying additional resources. Then we have crash cost. Crash cost is the total expenditure incurred on the normal activities, normal resources plus extra cost incurred to crash the activity. Just now I've given the example, the normal time to complete the activity five weeks, but crash time is three weeks. Crash to time is three weeks. That means two weeks we are reducing by applying additional resources, by incurring additional cost, extra cost. So crash cost means normal cost plus extra cost incurred to crash the activity. That is called crash cost. Now, if you want to know the diagram of relationship of trade-off between crash cost and normal cost, you can see this diagram. A slope is there. A curve is there. Downward sloping curve. This curve shows the relationship between time and cost. We have taken time on x-axis and cost on y-axis. Right? So suppose if the normal cost is this much. Suppose the normal cost is P. Then the normal uh, time is R. So P is the normal cost and R is the normal time. Suppose if we 
crash the time from normal time or to crash time Q. Crash time Q. We have reduced the time. The cost will increase. The cost will increase to S. That means when we reduce the time from R to Q, our cost is increasing from P to S. So here, lower time, higher cost. Here, longer time, lower cost. So we can see the inverse relationship between time and cost. Right? Now, actual time cost relationship could be of any shape. This is the normal tendency. That means assuming that there is a linear relationship. There is linear relationship between time and cost. We call this curve. But in reality, the shape of the curve may be different. May be different. Now, now uh, for an individual activity, the cost to slope is defined as for taking a decision whether activities should be crashed or not. We want cost slope. The cost to slope shows how much is the expenditure incurred, extra expenditure incurred in crashing the activity per unit of time per unit of time for example unit of time is per day or per week so how much extra cost incurred per day if you want to crash an activity for example if an activity is to be crashed for one day how much extra cost or if an activity is to be crashed for one week how much extra cost that extra cost is called cost slope so how to find out cost to slope crash cost minus normal cost actually crash cost will be more because it includes additional cost the so crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time normal time will be more crash time will be less so numerator crash cost minus normal cost denominator normal time minus crash time this will give you cost slope Cost to slope is the extra expenditure incurred per unit of time. For reducing the activity duration, the management may agree for extra expenditure. For reducing, there is a benefit and cost. The benefit is the project can be completed within a short period. We are decreasing the time. This is the advantage. But the disadvantage is the cost will increase. So one benefit, one cost. Benefit, reduction in time. Cost, additional expenditure. Now the management has to see the trade-off, which is more. If they are getting more cost to saving, they should go for further crashing. If there is no cost to saving, then management will say why to crash the activity. We'll perform the activity in the normal time because we are not getting any saving. Now, uh, to keep the explicit expenditure minimum, we must concentrate only on those activities which cost to slope is minimum. So in order to crash the activity, we have to find out the cost to slope of critical activity. Remember, we are not concerned with non-critical activity. Because if non-critical activity are delayed, nothing will happen. Even if we shorten the non-critical activity, the total duration of the project will not get reduced. We have to focus only on critical activities. So we need the cost to slope of critical activities. And those cost to slope, we have to find out where, in which activity the cost to slope is minimum. Whichever activity has cost to slope minimum, that activity should be crushed. All these points I am going to apply in the problems from the next video onwards. Now, the time cost to trade off method consists of systematic analysis of project cost and time. So, this time cost trade off relationship requires complete study of the normal time, crash time, normal cost, crash cost. If all these things are given systematically, we can decide whether crashing should be done or not. Now, it can be observed that shortening duration leads to increase in direct cost. When we systematically analyze, you will come to know that when we crash the activity, direct cost will increase, but indirect cost will reduce. Direct cost increases, indirect cost reduces. So, we have to find out the net saving. 
There is increase, there is decrease. For example, increase in direct cost is 1000. Whereas decrease in indirect cost is 1200. 1200 indirect cost is increasing. Whereas direct cost is increasing by 1000. So there is a net gain of 200. 200 net gain to the management by crashing the activity. Like that, the management has to see what is the net saving in the direct and indirect costs. Now, the normal tendency of every manufacturer is to produce at minimum cost, have most efficient use of resources. So every management, every manufacturer, main objective is to minimize the cost and reduce the duration of the time. Now, but in emergencies or sudden rush of orders, production is to be increased by increasing the rate of production, then naturally additional resources are to be required. The normal circumstances, there is no need of crashing. But certain emergencies or during rush orders, the production rate has to be increased. So when production rate has to be increased, additional resources are required. Crashing has to be done. So this is the situation which may arise in many cases in a manufacturing organization. Manufacturers will be tempted to crash the time only when the profit earned from additional production is more than the extra expenditure crash. Trade-off means set-off. Set-off between cost and benefit. So crashing is beneficial only when the profit is more than the cost incurred on additional resources. In that case only crashing will be done. In examination you may be asked a theory question also regarding what is this time cost trade-off or what is time cost relationship. So whatever I have explained this in this video remember that make note of it and definitely you can be able to attempt the theory question and after listening this video, video the coming problems will become easier on crashing. So totally five problems have selected on this crashing topic. Inshallah we'll start the problems on crashing in the next video. So if you're satisfied give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah we'll start the problems on crashing in the next video.